Good morning. Welcome to our very April to holiday, shall we say? And um, we decided in a bit of a whim to literally just walk into a travel agent and see where can we go. So we are here in Fuerteventura for seven nights. We've already been here for a few days. It's supposed to be a relaxing holiday, so we haven't actually been carrying the camera around with us. But I thought I'd show you some footage of the hotel, the types of restaurants that are here, and the main strip of the area that we're staying in. So if you're interested, let's go. We'll start this little tour at the very entrance to the hotel. So as you come out, that furthest palm tree you can see there is the main strip, which is where all the shops are. And right behind that van there is a gym. So this is the entrance to the hotel. And as you enter through the glass doors, reception is right in front of you. Tiled floor, big spacious reception area. It was always staffed when we were there. And as you turn off to the left, there's a holiday rep area for certain companies. Loads of seating, which I'll show you the further down we go. Like most holiday resorts, everything's glass fronted. I chose to film this now because the reception area is empty but there's usually always people hanging about here waiting on tours, waiting on excursions or waiting on their buses to come and pick them up for their flights. This is the opposite end and as you spin round to the left this is where they display all the children's club programmes. Now we don't have children with us so we didn't really pay too much attention, but I'll let you see quickly the sort of things that they're doing. They post there what days they are, what times they'll be doing the activities are, and what the activities actually are. And as you can see, each day has a mini disco at 8.30pm. If I turn back to the left, this is where our rep would have been. Um, a book exchange area, one very old arcade game. We were with Jet2 Holidays. And turning back towards the door takes you out towards the pool area. With again, more seating. Because that's the entertainment complex right in front of you. If you go to the left, there's a laundry, an air hockey machine, showers and the toilets for the pool. And then Faro's Club is where the evening entertainment is. It is a typical resort entertainment for children. We didn't film in it just because there was so many children in it. But it is a mini disco for the kids at night. It's not adult or um, entertainment. It is family style entertainment. As you pass that, you're going up the hill towards the restaurant and the pool area. So Faro's Club is quite extensive, it's got an inside section and an outside stage. So the whole time we were there, this outside stage wasn't used, but because it's quite mild in the evening, a lot of families choose to sit outside with their drinks while the kids are inside at the disco. Round to the right is a pathway that leads up to some of the accommodation. So I don't know if you can see that, that there, let me see if I can get a finger, that there is part of the lounge which opens at night and then you can just see here is one of the rides in the water park that is how close we are to it so it's a great location for kids this is the entrance to the main restaurant which is currently closed but we'll show you at the end of this video here on the left hand side is toilets and a side entrance into the lunch and breakfast restaurant and that leads you to the pool this day is quite overcast, there's not a lot of people in the pool, so we'll quickly show you what the pool looks like on a normal busy day. Once a week, on a Friday, there's a foam party. And as part of this, there is a giant inflatable in the deep end for anyone who wishes to be adventurous. We were sitting right at the foot of this. So this is the main restaurant. Now I don't know if it happens every week or once a fortnight or just while we were there in May, but this is a celebration to the Canary Islands. Uh, so this will let you see some local cuisines, but also 
the sample of this is just the salad bar and I'm sure you'll find something for everybody to like here. We were here for the restaurant opening so this was fresh out. This is the bread station with rolls and baguettes. And the cheese station to create your own cheese board at the end of your meal. There was also a section beside this with jams and nuts. Now some of the local food wasn't to my palate but I'm sure you'd find something for everybody. There was a fish stew, rice and of course chips at the side of that. There was a separate station for children. This was salmon. Another local dish. At the very end, there was a soup station. The most spectacular thing about the buffet was definitely the dessert station, which did have a lot of local desserts. There was a cake, which you can see here looked spectacular. I found it a bit dry, but some people will have really liked it. That ice cream was really popular with the kids, so you had to make sure if you wanted some, you get in there first. Selection of toppings and syrups. Loads of fresh fruit for anybody who wants it and this was the spectacular cake that the staff had started to cut to let us see so it was supposed to be like a cherry chocolate cake and um, it was just a bit dry for my liking but it looks spectacular. Thanks for checking out this week's video. If you did enjoy the video please click the like button and the subscribe and if you're interested in seeing us playing crazy golf and going round the shops on the strip then please come back for next week's video. Bye!